So there are a lot of procedural generators out there in the market for Blender. And don't get me wrong when I say this, but most of them are the really cool experiments and an integral part to the development and growth of these tools within Blender. Not all of them are actually useful in daily life projects. So let's talk about some generators that actually are useful for your everyday Blender projects. So let's go. By the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace, but we'll talk more about them later in the video. For now, let's start with the first generator on this list, which is this fire and smoke generator made available by the awesome folks at Blender Studio. I'm pretty sure most of you don't even know that this content gallery section exists for every short film that Blender Studio releases. This fire and smoke generator is just one of them and they are usually developed to be used in some short film. So you know they are of the highest quality possible. I mean, look at this fire and smoke asset alone. There are control sliders for literally everything you're ever gonna need. Resolution, lifetime, rise, spread, wind, and so much more. It's lightweight and easy to use and can just be a plug and play asset for any scene that requires fire and smoke in it. So check it out. I'll link it in the description below. And while you're at it, don't forget to take a peek at all the other generators that the team has made available there too. Like this curve stitch tool from the chart short film or this smoke puff asset from the upcoming pet project short film and tons and tons more. So go give it all a try whenever you can. But for now, let's move on to the next generator on this list, which is this dust particle generator made available by the awesome folks at Creative Shrimp. This is a must have tool for every Blender user out there. I mean, who doesn't like some dust and some moths and some pollen flying around in their scene, right? They have a light version of the add-on available for free if you just want to give it a try. But I would highly suggest you get the pro version so you can get access to all the crazy features that they've added to this add-on, including a looping feature and access to multiple particle types like pollen, flares and, and moths. You gotta get it just for the moths, right? If not anything else. So yeah, check out the free version to test it all out. And if you end up liking it, the pro version is literally a steal. Trust me. But let's move on to the next thing now and shed some light on the Blender Kit add-on. Because trust me when I say this, half the time when I'm looking for something procedural or some kind of a generator, I come here on the Blender Kit add-on and just search the term generator or procedural in there and more often than not find what I'm looking for right here. They've got all kinds of crazy stuff here. I usually find myself using their procedural material libraries all the time with their procedural marble materials and procedural metal materials and skin materials and whatnot all packed with a ton of procedural sliders and a ton of options to play around with. They've got some peculiar things too, like cloud generators, which can come handy in a lot of situations, and rock generators, which can be really useful for all your 3D environments. What you can do for the rocks particularly though, is enable this extra objects add-on within Blender, which enables this rock generator option within the add menu. And trust me when I say this, that this is all you're ever gonna need to produce any kind of rock ever. And then you mix that with such awesome procedural rock materials from the Blender kit add-on, and you've got yourself some really sweet looking rocks in no time at all. So yeah, install the Blender Kit add-on and the Extra Objects add-on and thank me later, I guess. And while we are talking about awesome built-in add-ons that come pre-packed within Blender, let's not forget about the real snow add-on. All you gotta do here is choose a coverage value here in the add-on panel, along with the height value here, and that's it. You then click on this Add Snow button and Blender will automatically generate a snow-like mesh in the appropriate places for you. The material that mesh comes pre-packed with though isn't the most flattering. So what I would suggest is you use my favorite procedural snow shader out there on the internet. I will link it in the description and you can replace that with this default snow shader that the add-on generates for you. And you should have some really good looking snow within Blender in no time at all. And hey, if you are already here talking about procedural snow within Blender, why not take a little moment to talk about procedural rain as well. Bagger rain still remains my favorite rain generator add-on out there. It will generate some awesome looking droplets and splashes and ripples and a lot more in merely seconds. And as I've said before, you combine this generated rain with this free rain droplet generator and you've got yourself a pretty decent looking rain setup, if you ask me. This droplet generator can be used for so many other condensation purposes as well. So it's a pretty handy shader to have in your workflow. So definitely go give both of these generators a try for your next Rainbound projects. Before we move on though, let me also tell you all about another awesome generator made available to us by today's sponsor Squarespace. It's a website generator, if you didn't guess it already. You start this website making process on Squarespace by choosing what your website is all about and then also what your expected goals are from it. Then you can either take the custom template route or the pre-made template route. And after that, it's just a matter of navigating through the Squarespace UI as they present you with all the customizability options out there a generator can offer, with easy to understand instructions and really intuitive user experience, and a little bit of witty AI implementation as well, wherever you need them the most. And guess what? You're done. You've generated a custom website in no time at all. 
and it's all free to use and free to try out when you first begin the process. But once you are ready to launch your website at the end, all you gotta do is go to squarespace.com slash stash to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So yeah, go check them out before the deal runs out. All right, let's move on. Let's look at some more shader based generators, starting with this tiny eye generator made available for free by the awesome community member Tiny Noki. This is one of those add ons that doesn't even really need a pitch because you look at how beautiful it looks and that's enough of a pitch for it really. It has enough controls for literally any aesthetic you're going for in your character and enough controls to go beyond that too if you'd like. So just go check it out. Check it out before Tiny Noki realizes this is giving away way too much for free here in this tool and makes it paid or something in the future. So yeah, grab it. Grab it as soon as possible from the link in the description. And now let's talk about some city builders. And don't get me wrong when I say this, but all these geometry nodes based building add-ons are awesome and can be really useful in a lot of scenarios. But I was looking for more of a Google map replicator here in Blender for this video. And I know there's a lot of available options already out there for me to check out. But I've got my eye on this add-on called Earth Modeler that does exactly what I need, but it's still in alpha and is yet to be released. But it's already better than most of the add-ons I've seen and used before. So I don't have a demo for it for you right now, but I'll keep an eye out for its release and keep you guys updated as well. Till then, maybe you can check out the demo video the team behind the add-on has put out on their YouTube channel. I'll make sure to put that link in the description as well, if you want. But let's now take a quick look at this book generator made by the user the bandit bk i think books are one of those things that can come in really handy in filling up blank spaces in your interior renders so this generator is a must use for all our quiz artists and it's really easy to use you duplicate the book and it will generate a new book cover every time you move it a bit not just that there's controls for a lot of other parameters as well so irrespective of whether you are an our quiz artist or not definitely keep this generator in mind for any future interior renders you might end up making Okay, let's now also look at the hologram generator made available by Ian Hubert on his Patreon. It's super easy to use, literally plug and play kind of easy. And it's crazy how versatile it is. You can plug any kind of video or photo into the shader and it will just generate the most realistic looking hologram projection you've ever seen within Blender. So definitely give it a try. $7 is just too less for what he's actually offering in there on the Patreon. So I cannot encourage you enough to get a subscription to it as soon as you can. So go do it for the holograph shader if not anything else. But hey, on similar lines, I know I've shorted out the Blender Kit add-on already, but I love using this LCD shader that's available there for free. I plug it in anywhere there's a screen available to plug it into. So I thought it was worthy of a mention right here in this segment. So yeah, check them both out whenever you can. All right, let's move on. Let's move on and finish this video up by shouting out some more daily use generators. Generators I've already shouted out on the channel before, but I feel like they honestly deserve a lot more attention I've already given them. So here goes another shout out for them. Let's start with the IV generator and this pipe generator. Both of them made for older 3.0 releases of Blender, but surprisingly, they haven't aged at all. And I haven't seen any better free alternatives for them out there since then. So I still use them regularly on my projects till date. They still work perfectly fine in Blender 3.6.2 and are more than enough for most my IV and pipe needs. Though the new paid version of the Baga IV add-on looks really feature packed and promising. So I'm gonna give that a try as well as soon as I require it in a project. But in the meanwhile, these two generators generators will do just fine. More than fine actually. So check them out if you haven't already. I would also again like to shout out the Mossify add-on which I still use for all my moss needs and it's still the best moss generator out there in my opinion. So if you have a moss bound project coming up I would definitely encourage you to go give it a try. The Real Sky add-on is another add-on that I've shouted out before on this channel and it still remains one of my favorite add-ons to generate some procedural clouds into my 3D scenes. Just note that if you're not able to see the clouds in your camera view for some reason while using it, try increasing this clip end field to a higher value here in the camera settings to resolve that particular issue. But irrespective of that, definitely give it a try if you have been craving some real volumetric clouds in your 3D scenes. The second to last generator on this list of awesome add-ons is the Grungit add-on. That again is still my go-to add-on to generate some procedural noise and dust into my clean and sleek looking models. It gives you a ton of control with these two nodes that it automatically adds to your shader tree. All of it completely procedural and super simple to use. So try it out on your pristine looking models to breathe some realism into them by dirting them up a little bit. And finally, I would like to shout out the Geo Cables add-on, which is still my favorite add-on to add some hanging wires into my scenes. It is again one of those older Blender 3.0 released add-ons that is still fully functional in the latest Blender release. So if you are making a scene that can fit some hanging wires into them, Geo Cables should be your go-to option, in my opinion. So go give it a try as well. 
But yeah, I think that's it. That's all I had planned for this video. One of the things I like the most about making such add-ons and generator videos is the recommendations and suggestions I get in the comment section below from you guys. So don't forget to drop the names of your favorite procedural add-ons and shaders or generators out there on the internet that you constantly use in your day-to-day -day blender life and maybe I'll cover them in a future video or something. So yeah, I hope to see you there. If not there, then this is it, I guess. Thanks for watching till the end if you did and I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.